In a matrix, successful project management requires a collaborative leadership approach. Collaborating, working together, sharing ideas. It sounds easy enough, but the truth is getting teams to collaborate effectively poses a real challenge for most project leaders. Many team members have had training on topics such as risk assessment, scheduling, or work breakdown structure. However, they most likely learn to work with a directive approach. This means they gather input from team members, create the plan, and then review it with the team. This is not collaboration. Collaboration occurs when the team creates the plan under the direction of the leader. This approach creates ownership and accountability. Collaborative project management is a new set of skills for most project leaders. Our two-day workshop on collaborative project management is the most effective approach to teaching project leaders collaborative skills. Participants who have attended this workshop can use what they learn immediately, anytime their job calls for collaboration. This workshop is for everyone from PMPs to individuals who are brand new to the world of project management. We have taught this program to engineers, IT professionals, R&D scientists, marketing folks, financial analysts, anyone and everyone who needs to lead a project, large or small. Most programs teach a directive approach to project management and are composed of straight lectures. Our program is different. To give you an idea of how our two-day training program flows in the classroom, we have created this storyboard to help you better visualize the presentation topics and exercises we cover. Let's begin. We open day one of the workshop by reviewing the materials provided. This includes a binder of course materials and a copy of the project management memory jogger. The binder contains materials and templates that participants can use right away to collaboratively lead their project teams. The project management memory jogger is a job aid that walks them through the steps for each tool they learn about in class. Then there's a quick review of the agenda, learning objectives, and workshop guidelines so participants know exactly what to expect. From there, we move right into an introduce your neighbor activity to help the group get to know each other better. Next, we review the four-phase project management process, the roadmap that guides participants through the course. The most critical phases in the project management process are initiating and planning, and as such, they are the main focus of this training program. Since it is important for the organization to select the best possible solution before any project is initiated, participants learn why having the right solution before they start the project is critical to the business. After this, the participants work in small groups where they use a collaborative brainstorming method to identify and come to consensus on the top 10 problems they face while working on or leading projects. Each group shares its results with the class. Throughout the two days, participants are given the opportunity to revisit this list and post solutions to the problems using information and skills they learn during the workshop. In all the years we have taught this workshop, we have never had a problem that could not have been avoided or resolved using our collaborative project management approach. We then focus our discussion on the first phase of any project, which is known as initiating. We walk the participants through the steps to create the output of the initiating phase, a project charter. Participants now break into groups to practice creating a charter for their case study. Throughout the workshop, participants use one of three available case studies to help them apply what they've learned. Options for case studies include a generic case, an IT case, and a new product development case. The teams also collaborate to answer a set of discussion questions about the initiating phase. After each exercise, the teams come together to debrief and share their experiences. We wrap up our discussion of the initiating phase by discussing how to use two important project management tools, the issues list and lessons learned. These tools are used throughout the planning and executing phases of a project. Before we launch into the planning phase, we cover a number of topics around human resources, the people in the project. This discussion includes the project kickoff and stakeholder analysis. Included in this topic is a discussion of different thinking styles, where participants learn about Ned Herman's 64 different thinking styles in a highly interactive exercise. The result is an informal profile of the group's thinking styles and a discussion of how to get past the differences. For more information on how to profile an individual or team thinking style, please visit the HBDI website. This exercise leads to discussion where participants learn about the principles and tools for leading a team collaboratively. 
Participants are encouraged to learn more about their leadership styles by completing the leadership self-assessment included in their manuals. We then reorient the group to where we are in the project management process, and at this point we are starting the planning phase. Our discussion begins with project scope definition, and we walk through a number of scoping tools together. The large group then breaks into small groups to answer discussion questions about project scope. The participants reconvene to debrief and share their experiences. We wrap up the day with small groups returning to their original top 10 problems and working together to identify solutions by applying what they have learned so far. Day 1 of our collaborative project management workshop is filled with useful information that participants can apply on the job immediately. To view Day 2 of our workshop, please click on the link for the Collaborative Project Management Day 2 agenda. If you want a more detailed agenda that includes a complete list of all the tools and topics covered, you can download it from our website at www.matrixmanagementinstitute.com.